Welcome everyone. So we will be dis discussing Indian contribution to science. This is a book which is compiled by Vikyan Bharati and this is one of the chapters which is there for the VPM examination. Chapter 18 Discovering Samgama Grama Madhavan. Introduction It is without doubt that mathematics today owes huge debt to the outstanding contribution made by Indian mathematician over many hundreds of years divided into ancient which includes Apastamba, Bahudhanya, Dhyana, Katyana, Manava, Panini, Pingala and Yajnavalka. Classical which is Vararuchi, Aryabhata, Varamehira, Brahmagupta. Then comes the medieval period which includes Narayana, Pandita, Bhaskaracharya, Sangamagrama Madhava, Nila Kantha, Swamiyaji, Jeshta Deva, Achyuta, Prasaradi, Melpathu Narayana, Bhatta, Tari, Shankara Varman. And the modern period which includes Srinivas, Ramanujan, Harish Chandra, Narendra Karmakar, S. Chandra Shekhar, S. and Bose periods. The beautiful number system, zero and decimal systems invented by the Indians on which mathematical development has rested in complemented by Laplace, the ingenious methods of expressing every possible number using a set of 10 symbols, each symbols having a place value and an absolute value emerging, emerged in India. The idea seems so simple nowadays that its significance and profound importance is no longer appreciated. Its simplicity lies in the way it facilitated calculations and placed arithmetic foremost amongst useful inventions. The importance of this invention is more readily appreciated when one considers that it was beyond the two greatest men of antiquity, Archimedes and Apollonius. It was Einstein who said we should be grateful to Indians who taught us how to count. While the rest of the world was in dark ages, India made strides in mathematics and holds a 3000 year legacy through the work of Sulvakaras, that is 800 to 600 BC, Aryabhatta, Varamehra, Brahmagupta, Bhaskaracharya, Samagrama Madhavan, Nilakanta Samyaji, Jeshta Deva, Shankara Varman, extending to Srinivas, Ramanujan, S. N. Bose, Harish Chandra, Prashanta Chandra Mahanalubis, and reaching to the current period of Narendra Karmakar, Jayant Nil, Nalikar, S. R. Srinivas, Vardhan. ECG Sudarshan and Tanupad Manabhan. Discovering Sangrama Grama Madhavan, of all the mathematicians of the medieval period, the name of Sangrama Grama Madhavan is the most important who founded a continuous chain of Guru Sishya Parampara from the 14th to the 18th century, which is generally referred to the Kerala school of mathematics. Sangrama Grama Madhavan and his school were known to the Western world through the series of papers published by Mr. Charles Wesh during 1834 in the journal called Transaction of Asiatic Society of Great Britain and Ireland. One of the members of Kerala school, namely Jeshtadeva needs a special mention while the rest of the scholars wrote their works in Sanskrit. Jeshtadeva wrote his book Yukti Bhasha, a treatise in mathematics and astronomy in Malayalam to provide wider accessibility of the knowledge. Place of birth and the period of Sangama Grama Madhavan. The place of birth of Sangama Grama Madhavan can be known from the 13th sloka of his only surviving book which is known as Venuaroham which runs as follow, follows. Bekula Bekuladhi Shtita Twena Viharoyo Vishishyate Griha Nama Nisoyam Sayani Jena Mani Madhava. Madhavan belongs to the house described as Bekula Adhi Stita Vihar or in Malayalam Evanji Bakulam Ninna Palli. Even to this date, there is a house named Iringatapalli in Kalintunkara near Iring Iringala Kudda. Ullu described Sangamagrama Madhavan as belonging to Iring Iringatapalli house in Sangamagrama, village of Sagameshwara, deity of Kudal Manikya temple, Iringala Kudda. From the writings of his disciples, the period of this life time can be fixed as 1350 to 1425, 300 years before the lifetime of Newton, Gregory and Leibniz. 
some of the main contributions of Sangama Grama Madhavan. We know that one of the major contributions of Indian mathematics is the concept of zero and the decimal number system. One cannot pinpoint to any particular person to the discovery of zero. The concept was prevalent during the Vedic periods. Another important valuable contribution to the world of mathematics is the concept of infinity imported to the mathematics credit of which goes to Sangama Grama Madhavan. He was able to show that one can get a finite value by adding infinite terms or finite value can be expressed as infinite series. It is quite interesting to note that both the concept of zero and infinity are contributions of India which influence the Indian system of philosophy to a great extent. A rudimentary concept of infinity could have been there in the mind of Indian philosophers. That is why we have the sloka Isa Vasyo Panishad which says Purna Madha Purna Midam Purnat Purnam Udachate Purnasya Purna Madhaya Purna Mevava Shishyate meaning that is infinite this is infinite when infinity is added to infinity infinity remains and when infinity is taken from infinity infinity remains this is true for zero also no wonder that Indians represented the infinite extension of the sky with the number zero in Bhuta Sankhya representation of numbers. Sangama Grammar Madhavan was the pioneer to invent the finite series in trigonometry for sine and cosine of angles. Madhavan used the infinite series formula to evaluate the value of pi correct to 11 decimal places that is 3.14159265359. Recent studies show that calculus, an important branch of modern mathematics, has originated in the Kerala school well before the time of Newton and Leibniz in Jeshtadeva's Yukti Bhasha, which dates hundreds of years before the time of Newton and Leibniz, we find the formula for integration and differentiation. It is said that Yukti Bhasha is the first textbook in the world dealing with calculus. Another wonderful contribution of Sangama Grama Madhavan is his table for sign of the angle from 0 to 90 degrees at an interval of 3.75 degrees. He was also an expert in spherical geometry and was usually called Golavit, an expert in spherical geometry.